Our next guest, he's Gita Wirjawan, Indonesia's investment minister. Minister, thank you so much for coming on the show. Now, it was interesting listening to our economics editor. Here in Europe, there's so much talk, of course, on imposing automatic sanctions, on you know the deficits that are ballooning. Um, this has something that's now been put to rest. But how concerned are you about what we're seeing in Europe? On the one hand, a lot of investors are saying, well, actually, Indonesia is in a better place compared to Italy and Spain. Yep. But it must affect you. It, it does affect Indonesia to some extent. But as, as we look at our... Uh, flows of capital to Indonesia, it's been predominantly from Asia-Pacific countries. So I think on that uh, end, I think we feel pretty comfortable. But uh, we are uh, still making efforts and taking a lot of steps to basically entice uh, interest from the more developed markets such as Europe and the United States. Uh, what we're doing here in London is to basically meet up with as many opinion leaders as possible uh, with the view and belief that, you know, as time goes by and recovery takes place in, you know, this part of the world and uh, the U.S., uh, I think uh, Indonesia will be uh, much more ready to attract uh, a lot more capital. So we're, we're really optimistic about, I think, uh, you know, uh, making or enlarging the, the pie. But how exactly standpoint. do you entice investors? Because, you know, on the one hand, a lot of people are saying, yes, you know, Indonesia is becoming stronger. Yeah. It certainly seems more healthy than some countries here. But at the Correct. same time, because of what, you know, the so-called currency war, yeah. you may pay the price heavily. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, there's, there's two groups of people. Uh, one uh, of uh, those that do not know about Indonesia. And the other uh, is a group of people that have known Indonesia through the prism of, you know, the press, you know, maybe 10 or 11 years ago, which unfortunately has not portrayed Indonesia as positively as we would have liked uh, to be portrayed. Uh, and uh, as we are approaching these two groups of people, uh, I think they become much more educated of the new Indonesia, which can certainly say that, you know, we've got the necessary fiscal sustainability and monetary stability. Are you not I, concerned about inflation, for example? No. I, I, you know, we've, we've, we had spikes of domestic demand in 2005 and 2008, but it has been relatively manageable from a monetary uh, policy standpoint. I think the real issue in terms of managing inflationary pressure is building connectivity uh, in Indonesia, which would, I think, establish better logistical uh, infrastructure so that cost of operations could further come down. How much foreign direct investment are you hoping to attract next year? Th this year we're looking at about 20 to 22 billion uh, US as opposed to 13 billion last year. Uh, next year we've got to certainly go up uh, with a view of reaching about 50 to 60 billion in 2014. And this in what so, sectors? I mean what sectors seem the most attractive and that can grow the most yeah, in your country? We've got, we've got a more com uh, competitive labor uh, cost uh, than countries like China and Vietnam and we're seeing relocation of factories from China and Vietnam. Uh, I think we've got to focus on manufacturing of a lot of goods mm -hmm. but uh, I think to get there uh, in terms of industrializing ourselves we've got to get the infrastructure ready and that's basically the building of roads and uh, power generation capabilities. And this have you been approached by Western companies yes, or big US we have. companies? We have. Uh, will you make a decision on who gets those contracts fairly uh, soon? I, I think we'll make decisions pretty fairly in terms of who gets to come to Indonesia. Uh, so uh, I, I do believe what with everything that we're doing, I think we'll be able to reach out to you know a, a larger universe of investors. All right, Minister Wojewan, thank you so much, thank and the you. best of luck.